Okay, what's up guys? Today is a very important topic. We're gonna to be talking about the immune system and empowering you with truth on how our immune system actually works. And once you understand these basic concepts, these basic principles, you will feel confident, you will feel empowered, and you can start changing your lifestyle to protect yourself from any type of environmental threat that's out there. And you don't have to live in fear, you can live in faith and live in power. So there's two parts of our immune system. This is what really nobody is talking about right now. There's two main parts. There's more than this, but I'm gonna keep it as simple as possible. So if you're an immunologist watching this, understand that I'm keeping it as simple as possible for you guys to understand. We have Th1 and Th2 part of our immune system. Th stands for T helper cells. And the Th1, T helper cells type one, are responsible for that immediate or that acute response when we're exposed to viruses and bacteria. So it's more of an inflammatory response where our immune system, these Th1 cells, attack and kill and destroy these pathogens or bacteria and virus that come into our body. It's more, like I said, it's more of an inflammatory response. It's called cell-mediated immunity. The Th2 immune response is called humoral immunity, which means that it's the long-term immunity of our immune system. And how this works is these Th2 cells create antibodies and B cells so that when we're exposed to some type of bacteria, virus, some type of pathogen, these cells produce antibodies and a memory is created. So the next time we're exposed to this thing, it doesn't cause us any problems. We just kill it. We basically have no symptoms at all most of the time. So it's, it's, the example would be like when you have the chicken pox. If you had the chicken pox when you were a kid, we would have chicken pox parties. We'd want to get it. And because once you're exposed to the chicken pox, this type of herpes virus, our body creates a memory. We create antibodies. And then next time we're exposed to the chicken pox virus, our immune system just destroys it. So it's the long-term immunity. The short-term immunity or cell-mediated immunity is the Th1 immune response. When this system is balanced, everything is good. Our immune system is strong. We can fight off anything. This is like right now when you're hearing of people who are exposed, like 80% of people who are exposed to COVID-19 show hardly any symptoms at all. And then 20% show massive symptoms. And these are the types of people who have a massive imbalance in their Th1 and Th2 immune system. If we're weighted one side or the other, our body is gonna create long-term different types of diseases. So number one, if we, are, if we have a Th1 weighted immune system where our Th2 is downregulated and our Th1 is upregulated, then we're gonna be more prone to autoimmune conditions where our immune system starts attacking the healthy tissue of our body. And some of these autoimmune conditions that we're more prone to are thyroid conditions, diabetes, MS, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, rheumatoid arthritis, and these severe type of autoimmune conditions. So if we have an underlying autoimmune condition and we're exposed to like the flu virus or any type of other viruses, this is when these viruses can end up causing major problems. If we have a Th2 weighted immune system, and our Th1 system is downregulated, then we're gonna suffer from more inflammatory conditions like lupus, IBS, ulcerative colitis, scleroderma, and more of these inflammatory conditions that we suffer from. So we know people who are suffering from these conditions or if it's ourselves, then this is a wake up call to start taking massive action to change our lifestyle because we know that only 2% of all disease is genetic related. 98% of all disease we lifestyle ourselves into. So we lifestyle ourselves into different conditions and we can also lifestyle ourselves out of these problems as well. So I'm gonna give you some of the things that cause an imbalance in our immune system. This, this, isn't, this isn't a debate, this isn't political. I don't have any agenda here besides presenting you the facts. And so what some of the major things that cause an imbalance in the Th1 and Th2 immune system. Number one, and this isn't in any, any particular order, but number one, vaccines. Number two, exposure to medications and pharmaceuticals long-term. So if we're on long-term medications, it causes a massive imbalance into the system. 
the foods that we eat, if we're eating more inflammatory foods, it's gonna cause a massive imbalance. Whether or not we exercise, whether or not or how we perceive stress and how we let situations in our life affect our stress hormones and affect our body, that can cause a massive imbalance in the immune system. So there's all these different things regarding our lifestyle, whether or not we drink enough water, how much alcohol we drink, how much soda we drink, all this creates a massive imbalance or helps to balance. Everything that we do from a lifestyle perspective either brings balance into the system or creates havoc, disease, and chaos. So a very simple solution to help support our immune system, whether we're balanced or imbalanced, this is what we should all be doing every single day. Number one, research shows that supplementing vitamin D3 brings balance to our Th1 and Th2 immune response. And the recommendation is if you know you're low on vitamin D3, then you should supplement between 5,000 and 10,000 IUs a day until you're at the proper levels or high enough levels. And then you can back it down to more maintenance, which is one to 2,000 IUs a day. And we supplement with a liquid form because it's very easy to monitor how much you take. It's super easy. We can drop it right into Mila's mouth and it's really easy to give the kids, but vitamin D3 is a really simple solution to help support and help bring balance to this Th1, Th2 part of our immune system. Number two is our brain protocol of essential oils out of our book. So out of our Master Guide Empowered Living, we have our brain protocol, which is frankincense, copaiba, myrrh, and turmeric. And these three oils are the three resin oils. They're distilled from resin from the tree and these have some of the most diverse chemistry out of all essential oils. So we use these three oils to help support healthy levels of inflammation in our body, whether it's in the tissue or in our bloodstream, organs, brain, nervous system. We support healthy levels of inflammation with these three oils. And then we add turmeric because turmeric is shown to be very protective. This molecule tumorones, which is found in turmeric, to be very protective and very supportive of our brain and our nervous system. And what controls everything in our body is our brain and our nervous system. So if we support this, then we're going to be supporting our immune system. We're going to be supporting every tissue, every cell in our body. So the first thing to look at is to support your brain and nervous system, and then all else will start to follow. This is why we love chiropractic. This is why we love adjustments and why we get adjusted weekly, regardless of whether or not we have symptoms, because it's such a powerful thing to do for our entire body. And with these four oils, we recommend either just using them once a day topically, once a day internally, or spread them all throughout the day. Use frankincense in the morning, use copaiba at night, use turmeric in the afternoon, and use myrrh at night also. So whether or not you put them all four in a veggie capsule and take that first thing in the morning, or if you use each one of these four oils just once a day throughout the day separate, just make sure that you're using all four of these oils because they're very powerful for what we just talked about. And then the last solution that I want to mention is to help support skin conditions because when we have a TH2 weighted immune system, when we're upregulated in our TH2 and have this hypersensitivity of TH2, we can start to suffer from atopic skin conditions. So like some atopic skin conditions are going to be like eczema, psoriasis, atopic dermatitis, and I just read an article, 20% of children suffer from atopic eczema or eczema today. And this is a uh, TH2 weighted causing this hypersensitivity, causing these types of skin conditions. So one of the very simple things that we can do to help support our skin tissue is use an oil called yarrow palm. So if we have any skin irritation at all, anywhere in our body, yarrow palm is going to be one of the best oils to use. Yarrow is the essential oil. Palm is pomegranate seed oil. It's a fatty acid. So yarrow specifically, yarrow is one of my favorite essential oils. It has a deep, rich blue color because of this molecule. It's loaded in a molecule called shimazoline. Shimazoline isn't naturally occurring in yarrow essential oil. Another molecule is converted to shimazoline during the distillation process, which gives it that deep, rich blue color. And shimazoline is one of the most powerful antioxidants in the essential oil molecule world. And then when we have pomegranate seed oil added to it as the carrier, pomegranate seed oil is loaded with two molecules, conjugated linoleic acid 
and also punicic acid. Conjugated linoleic acid, which we refer to as CLA, CLA is very powerful in supporting healthy metabolism levels in our body. And also punicic acid it, with combination of CLA, which is an omega-5 fat, is very anti-inflammatory. There's so much research that shows that supplementing CLA or punicic acid is very anti-inflammatory for the, our body and the tissues of our body. So when we use yarrow palm topically, we get a really great solution to help support healthy inflammatory levels in our skin. So when we do these four oils, frankincense, turmeric, capaiba, and myrrh, we supplement vitamin D3, and then we use yarrow palm topically. This is just a really great start to bringing balance into our immune system and into our brain and nervous system. So if you weren't doing any of these three things and you just added one of them, you're going to start seeing benefits. And if you're consistent with it, the long-term benefits are going to be absolutely fabulous and you'll absolutely love them. But if you just use them once in a while, you're not going to see the long-term immune system benefits because you have to be consistent with the usage. So I hope you guys found value in this. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please share it to impact other people. But also, if you wanna start a dialogue or comment, have any questions about anything, just go ahead and ask them. And of course, we answer all the questions. But I'm gonna put a link to our newest webinar that we just created a couple days ago. We just launched it yesterday. I think you'll really enjoy that. And then also I'm going to put a link to our master guide with a discount code so that you can, uh, if you don't have that yet, you can pick that up at a 25% discount. So if you guys have any questions at all, go ahead and comment, let us know. We love you guys and we will see you on the next video.